Hey all, the practitioner here. God, it's good to be back. Um, sorry about this. Um, a little bit of housekeeping. For those of you who are wondering why I haven't posted anything for the last couple of weeks, or why I've been in absentia and not able to respond to my messages on my normal account, um, unfortunately, YouTube, uh, apparently somebody had, conf uh, somebody had flagged one of my videos, which I wasn't even aware about, uh, I wasn't even aware that I'd actually done anything wrong in one of my videos, and rather than coming to me and explaining to me what I did wrong, giving me the chance to take down the video, uh, you know, and replace it with something that was more appropriate, um, they just simply flagged the video, and the next thing I knew, I was getting a suspension for two weeks. So, uh, anyway, apparently I've been suspended from the, I've been suspended from this account for two weeks, and, uh, this is the first day, uh, uh this is actually the first day I just got back. Uh, to, uh, this was the first day I was actually able to um, post a video and finally come back to the account. So uh, thanks to all my faithful subscribers who held in there and still sent me messages and stuff. Um, for those of you who have sent me private messages, I've just responded to them. I hope you get the. Um, uh, I hope you've gotten the message, the replies. Um, to uh, to those of you. Um, anyway, so good news actually. Um, okay, so. Uh, giving you updates on what's been happening in relation to the accounts, the paranormal research, and everything else in the previous uh, time period. Well, uh, the good news is uh, I have found some. I have found some theoretical. Uh, apparently, there actually is, are some theoretical solutions for M theory, which apparently allow for dimension warping in the bulk. Uh, you know, not on our universe, but actually in the bulk, which means the special relativity doesn't apply. Um, and if gravitons and stale neutrinos were actually able to uh, exit our universe line and enter these warp dimensions in the bulk. They could actually exit one point of our space-time, re-enter another, uh, either traveling backwards in time or apparently having traveled FTL. So the graviton-based uh, the graviton-based signaling system that I proposed, which could be a basis for ESP and stuff like that, apparently does have some theoretical basis um, in terms of uh, does in, pa uh, uh, in fact appear to have some theoretical basis in M theory. Here's what the interesting bit is. Apparently, this particular mechanism is supposed to be being tested according to a new scientist article from 2006 by something called the Mini Boon by uh, something called the Mini Boon experiment from the uh, from the uh, Fermi Lab uh, from the original Fermi Lab particle accelerator and proof about uh, uh, proof uh, validation or refutation of this particular uh, theoretical model uh, for uh, for time travel for gravitons and steel neutrinos should be available uh, already. So I'm currently looking online to actually find out, uh, I'm still trying to search online to find out what actually did happen uh, in relation to this experiment, whether, whether or, or not anything was found. And uh, I should know soon enough, um, uh, by the way, if this model of M theory actually is falsified, i.e. if no evidence is found, um, I will be becoming a very virulent skeptic against psi phenomena, because then the very last possible uh, theoretical mechanism... Uh, you know, the, the very last theoretical mechanism, which would have had evidence for it, uh, you know, the very last uh, theoretical mechanism on, on how Psy could work uh, will have been removed. Uh, you know, not counting that whole airy-fairy bit. So, uh, again, um, you know, the, the one workable model will have been removed. Um, uh, however, if evidence is found for this, uh, I will let, let everybody know by giving the relevant links to uh, various articles, uh, um, primary uh, peer-reviewed papers and secondary. Uh, sources, um, you know, like I said, this is just something I'm still looking into, but if I find the evidence uh, one way or the other, um, I will provide the, uh, either way, uh, once I find the full data on this and get, you know, the fully fleshed out uh, peer review papers and everything, uh, which, you know, talks about the theoretical work and whether or not it's been validated or refuted, um, I will uh, I will post all the links in a future video, uh, let everybody know uh, whether or not this particular um, uh, part of M theory actually works, and if it does, um, I will be starting uh, work in on talking to the fellow parapsychologists um, referring to these data and um, uh, both proponents and skeptics, uh, drawing on uh, drawing on the stuff from Rosenthal's work and drawing on the stuff from this work and suggesting means of uh, of possibly um, well testing for both both psi phenomena and a physical mechanism thereof. Okay, so I just thought I'd give you guys the latest updates. Um, it looks like there may be something here. I'm going to go look into it. Uh, I honestly don't know yet, um, but we'll find out soon enough. So don't hold your breath, but, you know, uh, just letting you know where, uh, where, the state of, uh, where the state of things are at right now. Um, so I'll go look into it, and we'll find out what happens. All right. Um, talk to you guys later. Happy New Year. Toodles.